In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We humbly say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Today, the Church celebrates the memorial of St. Irenaeus, Bishop and Martyr. Let us pray. O God, who called the Bishop, St. Irenaeus, to confirm true doctrine and the peace of the Church, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that being renewed in faith and charity, we may always be intent on fostering unity and concord. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abraham and the men who had visited him by the terrific of Mamre set out from there and looked down towards Sodom. Abraham was walking with them to see them on their way. The Lord reflected, Shall I hide from Abraham? what I am about to do now that he is to become a great and populous nation and all the nations of the earth are to find blessing in him indeed I have singled him out that he may direct his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just so that the Lord may carry into effect for Abraham the promises he made about him. Then the Lord said, The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great, and their sin so grave, that I must go down and see whether or not their actions fully correspond to the cry against them that comes to me. I mean to find out. 
While the two men walk on farther towards Sodom, the Lord remained standing before Abraham. Then Abraham drew nearer to him and said, Will you sweep away the innocent with the guilty? Suppose there were 50 innocent people in the city. Would you wipe out the place rather than spare it for the sake of the 50 innocent people within it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to make the innocent die with the guilty, so that the innocent and the guilty would be treated alike. Should not the judge of all the world act with justice? The Lord replied, If I find 50 innocent people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abram spoke up again. See how I am presuming to speak to my Lord, though I am but dust and ashes. What if there are five less than 50 innocent people? Will you destroy the whole city because of those five? He answered, I will not destroy it if I find 45 there. But Abraham persisted, saying, What if only 45, 40 are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it for the sake of 40. Then Abraham said, Let not my Lord grow impatient if I go on. What if only 30 are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it if I can find but 30 there. Still Abraham went on. Since I have thus dared to speak to my Lord, what if there are no more than twenty? He answered, I will not destroy it for the sake of the twenty. But he still persisted. Please, let not my Lord grow angry if I speak up this last time. What if there are at least ten there? He replied, For the sake of those ten, I will not destroy it. The Lord departed as soon as he had finished speaking with Abraham, and Abraham returned home. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, he is slow to anger and abounding in kindness. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing his is kindness towards those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful.
Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to cross to the other shore. A scribe approached and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the man, but the son of man has nowhere to rest his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But Jesus answered him, Follow me and let the dead bury their dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. And good morning also to our brothers and sisters who are joining us through our live streaming. May the blessing, healing, presence of Jesus be with all of you wherever you are. And may the Lord grant all your posted intentions in the uh, comment section there in our Facebook Live. Today I am wearing red. As I have said, I told you uh, that today the church celebrates the memorial of Saint Irenaeus. He is a bishop and a martyr of the church. And appropriately, I am wearing red because today we are very happy to celebrate with our brother seminarian, the youngest of them, the youngest in the batch, Celebrating his, uh, ano ba, 23, 22, 22, oh, 22. Celebrating his 22nd birthday today. Happy birthday, Brother Joseph Loy. And, uh, happy birthday to you. From uh, Dapitan. Dapitan City. <laughs> Congratulations to your acceptance yesterday. Huh? I was once invited to a dinner by a couple. They have three children. While we were having dinner, the eldest, the eldest child, malit pa rin naman, bata pa rin naman. The eldest child announced during the dinner that he wanted to become a priest. After hearing that, we all beamed with happiness. I, for myself, I felt extremely honored to hear that. Maybe, maybe, he got inspired by my presence. And so we asked the boy, why do you want to become a priest? Bakit ba gusto mo magpare? And the little boy said, Well, I want to be a priest because when a priest visits a house, the food is always good. <laughs> Totoo naman. <laughs> our, gospel, our gospel for today has something similar to this story. In what way? You know, before, before these people, before they volunteered to follow the Lord, they first had seen the Lord curing the leper. They first had seen the Lord calming the storm, raising the dead to life, and all the wonders that the Lord was doing. 
And these people said to themselves, this is something, I will follow Jesus. Because everybody applauds Him. Everybody appreciates Him. Everybody says that He is a good man. I will follow Jesus. And many of us are like that. When things are going well, when things are okay, when things are favorable to us, when the food is good, it is, it is so easy to say, yes, I will follow the Lord. I will follow Him. But the Lord is telling us today, do not follow me because you see the wonders that I do. You should follow me because you are ready to sacrifice. Of course, I did not just say the same thing to the child. <laughs> I thought he was too young to be able to fully understand that the priesthood is sacrifice. But most of you here, you are no longer too young to understand that discipleship really calls for sacrifice. Yesterday, during the, uh, during the 11 a.m. Mass, our dear seminarians were uh, formally accepted. They had the acceptance rights. Lumuhod-luhod pa yan dito. Yan, yan, yan. Wala naman ako sa 11 o'clock mass. Pero meron akong ebidensya, meron akong video. Kita ko yun. <laughs> Do you still remember what he promised yesterday? You promised yesterday while you were kneeling here on this same altar, you said you will let go of pleasures of this world, to let go of personal desires. Tagalog yung kanilang ano eh, yung kanilang promise eh. Di ba nakalagay doon? Iwasan ang layaw at ginhawa ng mundo. Isang tabi ang personal na kagustuhan. Why are those words part of your acceptance promise? Because discipleship calls for sacrifice. And to all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, let us look back to the occasion when we first decided that we would go to Mass as frequently as possible because we love Jesus and we wanted to follow Him. Remember those times when we decided that we would pray the rosary, that we would spend time and adore the Lord in the, in the Blessed Sacrament, that we would regularly offer blessings we have received from the Lord. Look back to those times, in all probability, you made the decision to be faithful to the Lord because you felt that certain feeling of religious high. You were too inspired. At that time, you felt comfort, you felt peace, you felt joy. And then you said, yes, I will follow the Lord. I will follow Him. But remember, and we know, life is not always perfect and happy. There are and there will be times the joys will begin to disappear. Distractions will enter into, into your prayer life. Temptations will become stronger than before. And there are times you will feel misunderstood. And you feel that the troubles in the family, the troubles in the community persist, no matter how much prayer you offer to God. And let me tell you, 
my dear brothers and sisters, these are actually the best times for real decision making. These are the best times to say, yes, I will follow the Lord. These are the best times if you really want to follow the Lord. It is not when the, good, when the food is good. It is not when we have chicken joy, Gab. It is not when everything is comfortable. It is not when everybody is applauding. The time to decide to follow the Lord is when everything is difficult. When you are misunderstood, when you are condemned, when you are ridiculed, when you are bashed, when you are tired, when you feel small, and insignificant. And if, despite all these, you still decide to follow the Lord, that is commitment. If, despite all these, you still decide to follow the Lord, that is real discipleship. We bring our needs before God, our Father, whose Son has gone before us and has called us to follow Him. With confidence, we pray for the grace to accept that calling. And we will say, Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. That the leaders of the church and all those engaged in preaching the Word of God may persevere in their commitment to follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. That our community may be renewed from day to day through faith in the Word of God, calling them to a better life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. That those of us who have lost hope because of our sins, may realize that Christ, our leader, walks with us and carries our burden. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the grace, grace to, follow to follow your Son. That those who are weakened by sickness or infirmity may be assured of God's comfort through the care and support of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the grace, grace to, follow to follow your Son. That our brothers and sisters who are afflicted of COVID-19, as well as those who are under monitoring and observation, be healed by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, us, give the us the grace to follow, to follow your, your Son. son. That the frontliners and the many faceless heroes who risk their lives to combat COVID-19 be protected and strengthened by our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the, the grace to, to follow, follow your Son. That the dead who follow Jesus, especially for the souls of Raul, Tomas, Socorro, Jose, Vicente, Vicenta, Asuncion, Vicente, Bonifacio, Eladin, Rosita, Marcelo Jr., Teodora, 
Brother Rudy SSS, Elmer, Doripes, Inocencio, Julio, Concepcion, Maria Blanca, Pearly, Iracleo, Vinancio Sr., John, Jose, Diana, Ariel Anthony, Asuncion, Kong Chun, Virginia, Elizabeth, Dennis, Abigail, Leopoldo, Milagros, Pedro, Napoleon Sr., Stella, Estrella, Alfreda, Ariel, Pastora, Antoneta, Trinidad, Emerita, Eleuterio, Eldefonso, Alfredo, Pupuy, Kiko, Rodrigo, Rudy, Kakong, and all souls in purgatory may enter God's presence forever in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us the grace, grace to, follow to follow your son. son. Healing and fast recovery of Francis Ong, Felizardo, Alma, Emelita del Rosario, Basil, Uping, Gemma, Francis, Louis. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us the grace to follow your son. Special intention of Itang Chonko, Elson, and Vicky Chu. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, give us the grace to follow your son. Birthday Thanksgiving of Rubilin Lagahit. Thanksgiving of June and Beth Upus and family, Belen de Leon, Simper Fee, F1, out to wash. In silence, we now offer our personal and family's intentions. God, our Father, in our desire to follow in the footsteps of your Son, Make us one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice we offer you with joy on the heavenly birthday of St. Irenaeus bring you glory, O Lord, and instill in us a love of the truth so that we may keep the church's faith inviolate and her unity secure through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. 
For the blood of your blessed martyr, Saint Irenaeus, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with Saint Irenaeus, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
saving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation. Your loving mercy be for me protection in my body and healing remedy. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Through these sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, give us in your compassion an increase of that faith which brought glory to the Bishop St. Irenaeus as he maintained it even until death. And may the same faith bring to us who, who truly follow it justification in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for Aracho Imperata for protection against COVID-19. All together, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, ground them health in mind and body, and strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calongso. Pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please kneel for the exposition of the most blessed sacrament.
Let us now begin our morning prayer. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Prayer to Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Blessed are you, Mary, exalted daughter of Zion. You are highly favored and full of grace, for the Spirit of God descended upon you. We magnify the Lord and rejoice with you. For the gift of the Word made flesh, our bread of life and cup of joy, Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, our model of prayer in the Cenacle, pray for us that we may become what we receive, the body of Christ, your Son. Amen. Our Lady of the Most Blessed Sacrament, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Joseph. O Lord, may the merits of the spouse of your Most Holy Mother assist us, so that what we cannot obtain through our own efforts, we may have through his intercession, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Peter Julian Amard. Gracious God of our ancestors, you led Peter Julian Amard, like Jacob in times past, on a journey of faith. Under the guidance of your gentle spirit, Peter Julian discovered the gift of love in the Eucharist, which your son Jesus offered for the hungers of humanity. Grant that we may celebrate this mystery worthily, adore it profoundly, and proclaim it prophetically for your greater glory. Amen. St. Peter Julian Amar, the Apostle of the Eucharist, pray for us. Prayer for the cause of Venerable Father Ludovico Longari. O Lord, you have called the Venerable Father Ludovico Longari to be a fervent adorer and passionate Apostle of the Eucharist. Grant that your glory be manifested in him, and by the same grace, through his intercession, we invoke with confidence, O Mary, so honored by Father Ludovico as Immaculate, sustain our prayer. Venerable Father Ludovico Longari, intercede for us. On page one of the booklets, we will be using hymn number 82, Sing Praise to Our Creator. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Sing praise to our Creator, O sons of Adam's race, God's children by adoption, baptized into His grace. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity, Holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. To Jesus Christ give glory, God's co-eternal Son. As members of His body, we live in Him as one. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity, Holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. Now praise the Holy Spirit, poured forth upon the earth. Who sanctifies and guides us, confirmed in our rebirth. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity. Holy God, mighty God, God immortal be adored. 
page 718 of the booklets, Monday Morning Prayer. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord. And you will hear my morning prayer. To my words give ear, O Lord. Give heed to my groaning. Amen to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man, the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. May clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief. Their throat a wide open grave. All honey their speech. All oh, those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice. Those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Some prayer. Lord, all justice and all goodness come from you. You hate evil and abhor lies. Lead us, your servants, in the path of your justice, so that all who hope in you may rejoice with the church and in Christ. We praise your glorious name. O Lord, our God. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you, and you have dominion over all. In your hands are power and might, it is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks and praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Adore the Lord in his holy core. O oh, give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power, give the Lord the glory of his name, adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power. The voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars. 
The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In His temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as King forever. The Lord will give strength to His people. The Lord will bless His people with peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Some prayer. You live forever, Lord and King, all things of the earth justly sing your glory and honor. Strengthen your people against evil, that we may rejoice in your peace and trust in your eternal promise. A reading from the second letter to the Thessalonians. Anyone who would not work should not eat. We hear that some of you are unruly, not keeping busy but acting like busy bodies. We enjoin all such and we urge them strongly in the Lord Jesus Christ to earn the food they eat by working quietly. You must never grow weary of doing what is right for others. His marvelous works are beyond compare. Blessed from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We esteem Christ above all, for he was filled with grace and the Holy Spirit. In faith, let us implore him. Give us your spirit, Lord. Grant us a peaceful day. When evening comes, we will praise you with joy and purity of heart. Let your splendor rest upon us today. Direct the work of our hands. May your face shine upon us and keep us in peace. May your strong arm protect us. Look kindly on all who put their trust in our prayers. Fill them with every bodily and spiritual grace. We remember in our prayers, our families, our friends, and all those who are asking for their prayers. We pray for all those who are celebrating their gift of life today, especially Brother Joseph Loy. We pray for the well-being and safety of all the frontliners. We pray for the safety of all travelers. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, the intentions of our Archbishop, Romulo Valles. We pray for all those who have died. We especially pray for the soul of the sister of Bishop Ronnie Bancud. Lorencia. We make our prayers complete and let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, may everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your saving help. Let our work always find its origin in you and through you reach completion. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please kneel for the blessing. Our morning prayer has been offered. Let us bless the Lord. And give him thanks. 